Hi, this is Josh Olson, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. Uh, today, we're going to solve the Kennedy assassination with the help of Jeff Bridges and John Houston in William Rickert's Winter Kills. A Winter Kills is a fascinating film that did not get seen anywhere near as much as it should have. Writer-director William Rickert hadn't done too much before that. I think his biggest credit was he had written The Happy Hooker. But this was clearly a passion project because he delivered a fantastic script which attracted an incredible cast. Jeff Bridges, Liz Taylor, Tashira Mifun, Tony Perkins, Dorothy Malone, Richard Boone, Eli Wallach, Ralph Meeker, Sterling Hayden, and there's John Houston who uh, at one point asks, uh, what do you think these girls are doing, son? Are they playing with my nuts? It's essentially a fictionalized comic accounting of the Kennedy assassination based on the Richard Condon novel uh, of the same name. Condon also wrote uh, the books Manchurian Candidate and Preetzi's Honor. And it's a kind of demented, crazy black comedy that, that does hold together. It's beautifully written. The performances are fantastic. Rickard also managed to get a great crew. The fantastic Vilma Zygmunt shot the film, and uh, he got one of Alfred Hitchcock's production designers, uh, Robert Boyle, to do the production design. But really at the center of it is John Huston in one of the most bizarre and, and magnetic performances. You see him running around in uh, skin-tight briefs and just, just talking like a madman. Very, very entertaining performance. Liz Taylor, by the time she did this film, was not quite the svelte ingenue we, uh, we all knew and loved. And Vilma Zygmunt used a obscure Panavision lens to uh, kind of narrow her for the film. And it worked. She looks lovely in the film as a uh, high-priced courtesan. There were all sorts of problems getting the film made. They ran out of financing several times and had to shut down. Uh, at one point, one of the producers was uh, murdered mysteriously. The film was finally finished when Rickert went to Germany to do another film called The American Success Company and got Jeff Bridges to come along and be in that, and they used some of the money from that film to finish this movie. It played in theaters for about a week and a half and got some very good reviews, but then got pulled very quickly. Someone is trying to teach me a lesson in futility. Why am I the only one who isn't killed? They will run you dizzy. They will pile falsehood on top of falsehood until you can't tell a lie from the truth and you won't even want to. That's how the powerful keep their power. Don't you read the papers? Richard Condon wrote a piece later on for Esquire magazine in which he maintained that the reason the film got pulled was because it offended some very powerful interests and defense contractors who had ties to the Kennedy family. I can't speak one way or the other as to whether or not that's true, but it certainly seems plausible. I remember as a kid walking down the streets of downtown Philadelphia and coming across a movie crew shooting, and I think it was the first time I ever saw a real Hollywood movie crew working, and it turned out it was this film. They shot some of the sequences in Philadelphia when they ran out of money and had to leave L.A. And it was an amazing experience in just sort of learning how much work goes into how little film. I watched them shoot for a couple of days, and the sequence in the film is about two minutes long. Winter Kills, the search for a truth that could shake everything you ever believed in.